All right, we are talking about some sunshine out there and we've got beautiful blue skies out there right now. I want to show you we've got 50s and we're talking about that chance for some wintry precipitation heading into the weekend. But first, 57 degrees in Stokesdale. We're at 55 in Poptown, 56 in Pilot Mountain. We're on our way into those upper 50s, low 60s today. It's all thanks to a south southwesterly wind that has been a little bit stronger today and come in for us a little bit sooner. So that's helping us out. 53 in Mount Airy, 54 in North Wilkesboro. Look at those winds right now. You can see that south southwesterly trend all the way through Burlington, we're getting some stronger winds. And so when we have seen those temperatures climb, it's in response to a much stronger breeze out there. And it is a welcome breeze because we are looking at those conditions really under sunshine and no worries about wintry precipitation right now and temperatures that are above normal by likely this afternoon, some 10 degrees. And you're looking at the cold front here. This is a route to approach as we head into yeah, your Thursday afternoon into early Friday and this ahead of it and we'll continue to bring in some westerly winds. First though, we've got sunshine for you today in those upper 50s to near 60, 51 to mid 50s for early evening, then dipping you down gradually into the 40s and we can thank the wind for that. We expect that to stay up tonight. Even five miles an hour will have a big impact for us. 58 degrees in the foothills today, slightly above normal there and in the mountains comfortably cool compared to where we've been though. This is a milder flow for you. We see temperatures overnight down into the 30s, close to 30 degrees tomorrow morning. Still get you out of the teens and 20s, but it does feel like the low to upper 20s at times thanks to the winds that might become gusty. So a little bit brisk out there too. We'll notice that cool west southwest breeze and taking you into the 40s all the way through about midnight. And then we begin to see the change happen with 30s and later on for the mountains and the western foothills. But even then, it's going to be a slower temperature drop. We've talked a little bit about the dry air, a lot of dry air in place. We're hoping that we can see maybe holding off on those snow totals for the weekend, but we've talked about that possibility that they could move in. Now, not all of our models are in agreement. Some of these models bring in mostly rain coming into as early as Saturday, and so we'll be talking about that too. 54 degrees in the tribe, 60 degrees around this afternoon with those 50s, as we mentioned, and in the foothills too. The winds are what we'll be watching very carefully over the next uh, 12 to 24 hours. And 54 in the foothills, you see you don't have much to go to get to 58. So in the next two hours, we should be in those upper 50s. Feels good, almost spring like like weather, right? I think everybody's going to come home today from school with spring fever, maybe, and you've got 47 degrees. Heading the golf courses might not be a bad idea as far west as the mountains, too, over the next couple of days, especially as we've had a chance to dry out and the grounds a little less muddy today and winds now out of the west there. All right, take a look at this weekend. We talk about sunshine leading up until Saturday. Saturday may change though. If we can get this first front in, it could bring in a little bit of moisture for us, but it still looks to be low on the moisture scale, at least initially and overnight into your Sunday morning, still looking like a rain chance before temperatures cool. Can we see a little bit of that wintry mix catch up with us? Now this is a faster moving system than one we would typically see move out of the Gulf of Mexico. So it is not in our favor necessarily to get a whole lot in the way of wintry mix. It will depend on that storm position and of course the timing. If it moves in a little bit faster, brings in a quick burst of shower action for Saturday, might be dry as it rolls through on Sunday. That's what we could hope for your Super Bowl Sunday. But for now, mixed chances greater in the mountains than anywhere else to snow chances there. We'll still keep in a 20% chance on Sunday and of course keep you posted as we get a lot closer to the day. We're still five days away, folks. We've got 60s over the next few days. Valentine's Day looks gorgeous, although chilly in the 40s, and we have upper 40s returning next Tuesday. Looking beautiful into the weekend.